in an era, an era of butthurtness and easily triggered individuals known online, some being known as haters, some being users of the so-called quote-unquote straw man argument, we have many times seen and heard complaints of Henry Cavill's portrayal of Khalil, aka Superman. Among common complaints of his acting is wooding, he hates being Superman. One of the most frequently brought up complaints is that Christopher Reeves' Superman never did this. Christopher Reeves was great because he did this as Superman. And while Christopher Reeves, may he rest in peace, while his Superman was great for his time, it's important to remember a few things. Number one, Henry Cavill and Christopher Reeves are two different individuals. Just because they both had the privilege of playing the same character doesn't at all mean they are going to be one in the same. It doesn't mean that Henry Cavill should be trying to imitate what Christopher Reeves' Superman was able to establish. Henry Cavill cannot and should not be expected to be what Christopher Reeves was. And we have seen a similar complaint amongst the Spider-Man films. Only now, because Spider-Man has the MCU logo and isn't being played by Andrew Garfield, it's not so much a big deal. We cannot hold Henry Cavill to the same standard as Christopher Reeve's Superman, just because Henry is playing Superman now. Naturally, their portrayals are going to be different. And don't get me wrong, for the time that the 1978 Superman film released, it certainly deserves due praise. This isn't a diss at either movie. And denying that movie's influence would be illogical. I mean, even Patty Jenkins was inspired by Donna Superman with her Wonder Woman film. But at the end of the day, we must stop with the needless comparison. Number two, Man of Steel and the 1978 Superman films are two totally different films. Now, I have long wanted to debate the hypocrisy amongst fans seemingly being okay with Superman killing Zod way back then, but him doing it in Man of Steel being an issue. But instead, I say this, Man of Steel and the 78 film are two totally different types of Superman films. But again, certain individuals go in with the mindset of, oh, Reeves never did this, Donner Superman did this, this, and this better, instead of just watching the fucking movie. Instead of allowing Man of Steel to be its own movie without the needless comparisons, we focus so much on what we feel one movie did so right that sometimes we go into a movie like Man of Steel with the wrong mindset. And needless to say, Zack Snyder's Superman and Richard Donner's Superman weren't established in the same way, nor should they have been. Because had Man of Steel been an exact copy of the 1978 Superman film, I can only imagine the butthurt over that would be so severe that toilet paper companies would need to double down on shipping out the damn toilet tissue. Number three, the year 2013 versus the 1970s. With Man of Steel releasing in 2013, of course there are going to be some differences. Same with the comics. And I'm sure a lot are going to say, this is how Superman is. Superman is this way, not that way. No, that is how you choose to see Superman. You choose to see Superman as a man constantly smiling, constantly joyful, and constantly worryless. It seems we forget that even in comics, superheroes have problems too. We forget that even a seemingly flawless individual like Superman has his own issues. And a lot of this was brought up amongst the negative detractors of Man of Steel. Man of Steel is an adaptation of Superman's character. Just like Richard Donner's Superman is an adaptation of Superman's character. Once again, naturally there are going to be some changes and differences. Not everything 
is going to be the same. Well, if Superman does this, you're essentially removing the core of what makes him a hero. Well, do you also realize that after 30 years, cars and telephones and ham sandwiches are also going to look different? Some core things that were significant back then are naturally going to be a little different. And once again, this goes for both the comics and movies, such as Man of Steel and the 1978 Superman film, such as Henry Cavill's Superman and Christopher Reeve's Superman. What I'm trying to say is that Henry Cavill's Superman and Christopher Reeve's Superman were always going to be two different representations of the character. And if you just so happen to dislike Henry's portrayal, that is quite all right, darling. But using the argument of Christopher Reeve's this, Christopher Reeve's that, Richard Donner's Superman is gold. Yeah, for that point in time, sure, Donner's Superman was something special. But using that as an argument, the whole Henry Superman isn't what Christopher Reeve's Superman was, is a bit unfair. Wouldn't you agree?